Welcome back to another one of my videos. This is a post-race sort of analysis about the bike. Uh, she's looking quite battered. She had a hard life on the track, but the engine went all the way through to the end. No problems, no issues whatsoever really, except for a small oil leak that could have been avoided if we'd have done a track day before. We didn't do a track day, we just turned up from a bike that had been stood for two years without running through COVID and we thought it'd be fine. Mistake. So, uh, first 10 minutes of the race, we had a bit of an incident with a huge wheelie by mistake and a broken front brake lever and one of our riders partially injured. Well, quite injured because somebody ran over his legs. Uh, so we had to do out of the race, makeshift brake. That was a, put it was like about 17 laps behind the whole field. So we had to start from 17 laps behind, basically when we got back into the track, into the, onto the track. Uh, and then after that, we were more or less issue free, more or less. So the tires, they didn't rip up too bad because we had the medium on the back. So it hasn't peeled away too much. It's still giving good compound, even though we did lose quite a bit of rubber because it's everywhere all over the bike. Uh, they perform quite well. So I'm quite happy with the Mitas. They're pretty good. Um, so no chicken strips, as you can see. We're straight the way over, even though we're not that good a rider. But there you are. It's amazing how much crap you can get on a bike in just six hours. <laughs> Amazing. So we better get some degreaser on the go. people out there that would really like to get into racing and enjoy racing um, maybe I can give a little bit of advice the best thing to do is to go to the track first before you do anything meet people that are doing it ask them questions what tires they're using what suspension and what kind of engine they would recommend for you to use as a uh, as a novice as a beginner so and what classes to enter a lot of people, some people go into the 150 class, it's cheaper uh, than going into like group six and stuff like that. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time, it's clear to see From up here, the world seems small We can sit together Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel because there's lots of channels out there and they all need your help Kickback Garage, don't forget to subscribe to him, go and watch his channel, it's a great channel and he's working really hard, as I am, to try and do stuff for you. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share with all your friends.